to break into programming now with the WDRB breaking news alert. I want to show you some live footage right now of a dramatic rescue happening on the Second Street Bridge here over the Ohio River. What you're seeing on your screen is emergency first responders trying to get the driver or somebody in the cab of a Cisco semi truck out to safety. That truck crashed on the bridge not too long ago. We brought you updates during our noon newscast, but we wanted to bring you a live look at this rescue. You can see that they're trying to get the person who is inside the cab of that truck, who I should note has been dangling for some time now over the Ohio River out to safety. We did not know at first if there had been any injuries involved in this crash. We still don't have the clarity as to how many vehicles were involved, so it is possible that someone has been injured or if there were other vehicles involved. We just don't have that information. Obviously, the priority right now for first responders is working these rescues. You can see that there is quite a bit of movement happening in the window of that truck and that first responder. We brought this to you. Uh, this crash has shut down the bridge in both directions, so please be in mind of that. If you're going to be out and about this afternoon, maybe taking your lunch break right around now. We do not have many details about what caused the crash in the first place. Uh, if our crew there uh, on the scene can get us even a wider shot at some point, or maybe we can take a shot of our drone video in a two box from earlier just to show you the way that the truck, the semi, is dangling off the side of the bridge. There you go. That's a wider angle. You can still see the rescue crews there and the person working to go ahead and try to take what we're presuming at this point is the driver of that semi truck and get them out to safety. You can see just how many first responders are there. This is our drone shot of the Second Street Bridge over the Ohio River. The bridge is closed to traffic in both directions as firefighters work to go ahead and complete this very painstaking rescue process. I'll just be honest with you, I've never seen anything like this unfolding live, uh, specifically not in our city and on that bridge that so many of us use every day to get to and from work. It looks like he's got him there. You can see that the person that appears to be wearing some kind of emergency vest is now hooked on with that firefighter there, reeling them both up to safety. This is incredible. But this is the work that our first responders here in Louisville are doing every day, perhaps not in this traumatic fashion, but they're going out there, they're putting their lives on the line, they're doing this for our community every single day. You can see that they're just really carefully and slowly trying to pull the two of them up. This is incredible. I've never seen anything like this. And uh, to, to know that somebody is okay and has survived a crash of this magnitude, it really takes your breath away to even see this happening live, and that's why we wanted to take it to you and show you what was going on. This is a major story. Here's another close-up angle of them getting hoisted up to safety. Wow. Just, just absolutely incredible, incredible sight to see today. We're going to try to follow that shot there. This is another look from our drone of this rescue taking place. You can see what looks like some sort of crane. It also might be the ladder from one of the Louisville Fire ladder trucks. Those ladders can be used in a variety of different ways for rescues like this and for rescues of, you know, really tall building situations and fire situations. And wow, what bravery from uh, the Division of Fire and our first responders to just jump into action. I mean, this crash happened in the middle of our noon newscast. They were there immediately. They came up with a plan and they executed it. We knew that they were down below in the water. There are fire boats and police boats down in the water right now. We saw that earlier. But wow, they are almost up, hoisting them up to safety. That truck continues to hang, so we expect the bridge will be closed for several hours today as they remove that truck and try to inspect the bridge to make sure that it's still safe. You can see there's quite a bit of damage there as they continue to hoist the driver or someone who was in the cab of that truck up to safety. And again, we do not know how this happened or how many vehicles were involved. We just know that at this point, it looks like there's at least one positive here in that the driver or the person who is in that Cisco truck is, is going to be 
okay and at least survive this crash, which is miraculous if you take a look at that video at this point. Um, we want to make sure that we can see them get over safely. This is, uh, I'm sure, very nerve-wracking for all of those emergency crews involved. They're kind of swinging around, maybe due to the wind there today or just the way that that, that crane and that ladder uh, works. There's also kind of an emergency landing right there. You see that gray part next to the cement part of the bridge with that bright orange square. That's actually an area where if you're working on the bridge or inspecting the bridge, you can get on there. So I don't know if the idea is to just hoist them up or try to get them closer to that landing. It looks like they might be kind of going down and in the opposite direction toward that. At this point, you can see on the right side of your screen, there are crews pulling there on the on that wire to try to get them up to safety. This is, wow, there you go, another angle from our drone, incredible angle there. You can see just how many people are here working on this rescue right now. It's hard to see from this angle if there are other vehicles involved in this crash, but look at the back end of the, the trailer. The wheels just completely up, wedged into the bridge there. So safe to say there will need to be some inspections to make sure that the Second Street Bridge is safe. So many of us drive this bridge uh, every day to and from work. It's very narrow. There are four lanes on this bridge. It's only 35 mile per hour speed limit, but a lot of time as people are headed toward the highway or coming off I-65 are going much, much faster. So it just shows you how important it is to take it slow on a narrow bridge like that. Again, we don't know the circumstances of this crash, but it looks like the driver is uh, going to be okay, at least, of this semi, which is good news today. Still a lot of cleanup and work ahead, so if you have plans, you're going to have to either take the toll bridges or the Sherman Mitten, take the long way around, which is also dealing with its fair share of construction right now. So expect delays, especially in the downtown area, for the next several hours. They're getting really close to being able to grab the firefighter and this man who was involved in this crash. We're going to just talk you through it. We wanted to bring this to you live. It's not every day something of this magnitude happens in our city, so we felt it was important to bring it to you. Wow, just incredible video there. Incredible video from the scene. I'm going to go ahead and try to check my email as I let this video play out just to see if we have any more details from LMPD at this point. It's not expected necessarily. Be okay, my producer is telling us we do not have any uh, new information, but completely understandably as to why the entire focus is to making sure that these people are safe and that the scene is safe and secure for everybody up there. You can see just how massive the police response was. It does. It does look like they have them now. It looks like they at least have the legs of this gentleman right now or person. I can't tell, I'm assuming. It looks like a gentleman from this angle, but of course it's hard to see. They're kind of grabbing on, trying to pull over. This is just an amazing effort by our first responders here in Louisville who are faced with so much day in and day out and they train for this um, you know these situations these rescues and he's there he's safe on the ground and uh, they're pumping fists and they're proud of this moment and we certainly are proud of our Louisville fire and first responders and police and everybody who are out there. This is absolutely an incredible triumph and a testament to the hard work and training that they do to be prepared for these types of situations. I know I certainly feel very safe uh, and very proud and in their capable hands every day being a Louisvillian in this city. So we don't know many details. It looks like there may have been from this angle some other vehicles involved. They're, they've got a stretcher ready. They've got ambulances ready. Should that person need medical attention? Of course, I can't even imagine what they've been going through for the last oh, half hour or more that they've been dangling off the side of the Second Street Bridge. Think about that. Let that sit, sink in. Someone has been dangling off the side of the Second Street Bridge in the cab of a semi truck that's just leaning over, barely hanging on. What's sticking out to me now is uh, to the left of your screen, you can see that the deck of the bridge is very bent right now. Uh, very, very bent. Um, they've got the man on the stretcher right now. We're told up yep, there's a shot of the, the driver, presumably, of the semi on a stretcher being taken to get medical attention. So 
a good outcome of a really terrifying situation in downtown Louisville this afternoon. Wow. What's next? We don't really know. We know that they're going to have to try to secure that scene there and, of course, inspect the bridge. I imagine that this bridge will be closed for some time today, if not in the coming days, until they can make sure that it's safe for people to drive over. So we'll expect some impacts, of course, in terms of traffic, but that's not what's important right now. This is what's important, that this person has survived this extremely, extremely scary situation. And, of course, all of our prayers are with this person and those first responders out there, hoping that everyone else involved in the crash, if there was anyone else involved, is okay as well. Very, very scary scene in downtown Louisville. Looks like they are... Uh, just taking that person on a stretcher now into that uh, Louisville Metro EMS vehicle. Probably going to take them to a downtown hospital. U of L is our level one trauma center here in Louisville. So a lot of times these serious crashes and you know other uh, medical emergencies, we end up going and taking them to there. We're going to go ahead and uh, wrap up now that we know this person is safe in the hands of medical professionals. We will have much, much more for you on this crash as we learn more information about what happened here today on the 2nd Street Bridge. And we will also bring you any traffic updates or impacts you need to know about today on the News at 4. Also tune to our website for any continued updates. This has been a WDRB News breaking news alert. Thank you.